Hi everyone, sorry I'm late with my favorites of 2014. It's just been really crazy with work and the holidays and everything. But I'm gonna just break mine down in sections. There'll be a skincare video, a hair care video, and then this will be my makeup video. And the first two foundations that I love, in the winter I love to wear the Estee Lauder Nutritious. My skin gets extra dry in the winter. So I normally wear Nutritious. This is a very, very wet formula. This does run kind of dark. I'm NC15, NC20 in the winter, and I wear this in intensity 1.0. This is amazing. You don't need that much product. It's pretty thick, but it still melds into your skin, and it looks just like your skin. You don't look masky at all. And then for the rest of the year, I wear my Face Atelier Foundation in porcelain. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this bottle and I already bought a backup. Um, I do have a tutorial and demo on this foundation. I'll link it down below. And my favorite powder of the year, it's always, it's been like this for the past five years. It's the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. I talk about it all the time. It comes in this little sifter jar. It just makes your face look luminous, not too matte and not too luminous. I absolutely love this stuff. And my favorite concealers of the year for eye eyelid primer, it's of course e.l.f. You can bet this for a dollar at Target. I absolutely love this stuff and I talk about it probably in almost every video. <laughs> and my favorite high-end primer, this is the Urban Decay Sin Primer Potion. It's just a, it looks just like the eyeshadow except for it makes your eyeshadows more shimmery and intense. And I like that. <laughs> And the next thing that I love for concealer wise is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I wear this in shade Light 16. And um, this is great for spots on your face or acne. Um, as long as you um, powder it, it will s and set it, it will stay all day. Absolutely love this stuff. There is no need to find another concealer. I've had this over a year and I've barely touched it. You only need a tiny dot to do your entire face. Although I don't have a lot of acne problems, I get acne now and then, but it's a great concealer if you're in the market for one. And let's see, next is eyeliners. And this one is the NYC Liquid Liner. This is only $2. I have to do a swatch of this because it's absolutely amazing. Most drugstore um, eyeliners you have to go over it a bunch of times but with one swipe it's completely colored black you only have to go over once it dries matte it doesn't streak it stays on all day i absolutely love this it is my new favorite drugstore black um eyeliner and if you're looking for pencil these came out last spring from the Lancome line um, their eyeliners are amazing. This is in Jade Crush. This stays in the waterline for most of the day for me. These are amazing. Um, this is an aqua-y kind of a color. And they're so vibrant and so pretty. And then I have one more of the Lancome one I'll show you. This is in Deep Water Blue. And this is another pretty color. I absolutely love these. These are so soft and creamy. You'll only have to go over once. I never have any issues with these. Only in the summer these melt, kind of, but it is worth it. And my, oh, I forgot to tell you about my favorite concealer was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It melts into my skin well. It covers my dark circles. I absolutely recommend this if you are older and looking for something for your under eye area. And my favorite favorite here's another favorite liner for the gel liners um my favorite are the laura mercier cream liners these are amazing i got these two springs ago and it's still just as um smooth or whatever sorry brain fart but they're it's just as smooth and i have two other colors and they didn't dry up or anything they are amazing and i don't know why these aren't highly rated on youtube they're much better than the mac 
And for my favorite eyeshadows, I have quite a few. The first one is the Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. I use it all the time. I still do. Um, people say that this is a dupe for the Laura Mercier Rose Gold um, Shade Stick. FYI. And Amber Rush. I'm not going to swatch all of these. But that is another favorite. It's a pretty rose gold. As you can see, I love rose golds. And um, one of my other favorites, I got this in a swap earlier in the year. This is the MAC Let Me Pop. And it's a pretty peachy, um, like champagne-y peachy with some shimmery. And I usually wear that with um, this shadow right here, which I love. I hit pan it on it the other day. This is the CoverGirl um, shadow in mink. It's just a really pretty bronzy, um, kind of taupey kind of color. And it wears well with the Let Me Pop. And my favorite eyeshadow of all time that's sadly been discontinued. I hit pan on it a while ago. I do have a couple more backups of this. This is the Smashbox eyeshadow in Starlet. I'm so sad they discontinued this. This is kind of like Chanel Safari, if you know that color. But this one is much prettier and amazing. And I should have bought more for a backup. Because they discontinued this like... I think five years ago and I'm still going strong with this. I love this stuff. And the blushes I wore the most this year. Um, the first one is NARS Luster. It's a natural kind of a peachy orangey undertone of a color. Let me see if I can swatch some. It's just a very natural color. And I, I like that. <laughs> and most of the time I wear highlighters as, pe as blushes because um, I'm so pale. And this is MAC by Candlelight. I talk about it all the time. It's a nice glowy, pinky kind of a color. And if I don't wear Candlelight uh, most of the other time, I wear a shell pearl, which you can see I love. <laughs> This is just a pretty peachy pinky color, and I already have a backup of this. This is limited edition by MAC, and I think this is limited edition, but I don't know if it's come out in a long time. I have a backup of both of these because I love it so much. And my favorite mascaras. This is the Lancome Souls Booster. I talk about this all the time. It is just a primer for your lashes. You can wear any mascara under this and it will make your lashes look thick and long. I have short sparse lashes so I love this stuff. And my favorite <coughs> mascara of the year is the Jordana Volumizing Mascara. I go through a ton of these. It's just on this simple brush. I think it's $3 at Walgreens or Kmart. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. Um, if you're looking to not spend $20, $30 on a mascara, I find that this is a good combo. Um, I splurge for this, but then I save with this. And for lip products, um, my favorite lip liner is the Rimmel Lip Liner, and this is in Spice. I just finished my one from Rose Quartz. That's another pretty color. Um, they're kind of similar, but... Um, that's a swatch of the lip liner and I wore this a ton this year this is the Palladio herbal lip slicks in pink innocence it's a lip it's kind of a gloss and a lip stick kind of in one I've never seen a product like that before it lasts hours it's really good if you're at Sally's I highly recommend that you pick one up and my favorite lipsticks of the year. Um, first one is a nude. This is Hourglass Grace. This is the best nude. Most nude colors wash me out and make me look like a ghost. But this is such a pretty color with the Rimmel lip liner in this. It's an amazing um, combo. Or the Milani Natural lip liner. And there's a swatch of it right there. I love Hourglass. Um, lipsticks but they're really really soft so you have to be careful with them 
I accidentally broke part of my other one. And another lipstick that I wore a lot this year, this is the Mademoiselle Chanel um, Coco. I heard these were discontinued, um, but I still have a lot of this left. I love this lipstick. And it's just a pretty pink color. And my last two lipsticks, this is Ultra Darling. I wear this all the time. It's a pretty rosy color and you also have to be careful with these because these kind of melt. And it's just a pretty rosy color. It's this one on the bottom by my wrist. And the last lipstick I love is Revlon Coral Berry. This is supposed to be a dupe for MAC, what is it? Vegas Vault that they used on Mad Men on Betty Draper and that's what the tube looks like. This, If you wear a um, neutral eye look this looks great on the lips and where do I have space in between the eyeliners. It's just a nice bold lipstick that isn't too much and it's in between those lip liners and it's not drying either. And my favorite lip glosses of the year, I use this all the time. This is the MAC Lip Gloss in Strange Potion. I have the Disney version. And it's just that pretty peachy shade. And this is, what is this called? Hot Citrus. Um, it's kind of worn off, as you can see. I've used almost the entire bottle. It's a great topper for lipsticks. I love to top um, lipstick with lip gloss. And there it is right there in between the gold and the pink. And that is everything for my makeup portion of the favorites. Please tell me your favorites of 2014 if you have any recommendations or anything. Um, feel free to email me or comment below. Thanks. Remember, subscribe. Bye.